Traverse scene just by Van Buren right off the 290. So whether you're driving home and need to stop off or you're right by the Blue Line, which is actually 20 minutes away from my house, this is the spot. I guess you could say it's smart. It's the Wise Owl and it's awesome. In this place, was notorious as Stanley's for a long time. A couple other fledgling places, but now this is you. Why did you choose this place? You know what, the location, the West Loop, everything's blowing up out here. I saw a place that was in the rough, 120 years old, and you know what, we could do something with this. We can bring this back to life. It's a prime location that not a lot of people know about, but will soon. I love the location right off of the L. It's a great place for friends to get together. They got a great drink menu. They got an awesome beer list. Food is good. I mean, it's a home run all the way around. Love this place. You know what? Kick back. Your work day is over. Let me help you forget about the rest. And let me show you a good time. That's your job. That's my That's job. What you do. That's what I was born to do. Let's talk about your menu. Okay. You brought in a chef who has crazy chops. We got lucky. We ran into a fellow named Mark Hill. He was a sous chef over at David Burke's Prime House for five years. He was looking to get his break in the business as an executive chef, and we felt like he understood what we wanted to bring to the table. Upscale pub food. Natural smash. Yeah, absolutely. Your chicken wings. Your blackened chicken thigh sandwich. Right. Your sliders. The sliders are awesome. I mean, your short rib sliders are ridiculous. You have to come down and check out the food, I'm telling you. I, I, it's hard well, to that's describe. why they're watching. And your pizza is phenomenal, dude. It's a little bit longer to prepare because everything's hand-pressed and hand-rolled. Um, but you know what? People will sacrifice a little bit of that wait time for quality. Now, I'm going to make that pizza with Mark. So what pizza would you suggest that I make with Mark? Oh man, there's so many good ones. I think it's Portobello. I'd go with the Portobello, it's one of our top sellers. I think you should get in the kitchen right now though. Let's get that out of the way, and then we can continue our cocktailing after this. Who's the boss here? I Tony, thought you'd still think I am. Tony Danza. What is so different about this pizza? What, what sets you guys apart? Everything is done by hand. In other places, they're using rollers. And no machines. Not, no machines. We use a machine to make the dough, just a typical mixer, but that's it. Three ounces? Three ounces of sauce. These are charred cherry tomatoes. We char them in the boiler, give them a little extra flavor. Now we're going to do goat cheese. All right, so now we'll go with a little bit of uh, mozzarella, some fresh herbs, or herb blend. There we go. That's got the color we want. Cheers. Ooh, cheers. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm gonna get that for you. Oh, yeah. thank you. Uh -huh. This guy. Great light crust. The goat cheese with the mozzarella, perfect. Thank you. And those charred tomatoes, man, that makes a difference too. You're good at what you do. That's right. I'm gonna tell the guys about you. I appreciate it. No problem. Wait, where the hell is my drink? Great service, great crowd. It's just a good place to hang out. I like the atmosphere around here. The decor, it's all good, man. It's all good. Because you're all about the decor. Yeah, and the drinks. <laughs> <laughs> you're a wise man. Who? Me? Who? <laughs> Sliders, pizza, wings, beer, more. Now game at the United Center. And guess what? I charged my phone at the bar, and now they are sending me in an Uber for free from this place. Smart, wise owl. He's here. Who's the coolest person you know? Ted Brunson. <laughs> Who's the second coolest person you um, know? The Fonz. <laughs> hey. hey. <laughs>